Yeah, I remember having to plan everything so much, like I used to plan my life. I always didn't really know about good, good timing. I was either running late for things or I would be just over-organised for things because I wasn't quite in sync with things. And now I'm still surprising myself that it's like, oh, I'm just in the flow, like I just don't think as much. It's just more of a trust that I'll do what I need to do and not having to finish. I had a strong drive to finish things, to somehow then relax, <laughs> rather than just stay relaxed. Just stay relaxed, stay unified, and there's time to sit and there's time to do things and just letting the heart lead that process. My name is Natalie Mayer and I live in the Motueka Valley and I've been here in the area for yeah, 16, 17 years now. It was not long after that I came here that I came across uh, Renshaw. Yeah, I'm, I've been practicing and teaching for since 2012. I remember the first retreat that we learnt it. I guess I really realised how my heart really wasn't open and um, I went to sleep a bit in the retreat. I came across a lot of numbness. It was called indifference. Kind of, a, and, and I realised that was for me, maybe it was a way of protecting oneself, this indifference. I remember an experience of understanding that everyone is where they need to be in life sort of thing. Like a, an understanding of a very, just a very peaceful feeling that everyone and everything was in alignment with where it needed to be. So I guess that's quite a deep state of trust in a way because it was like, yeah, no grabbing or anything. Like there's nothing to chase. There's nothing, it's just, how it is, like everyone has their own law of life. It was a real feeling of that. I guess my trust is built because I don't see the point in worrying. I try, I really catch my mind if it's starting to do that. And I, instead of that, I build a chi field. Yeah, I do remember in one retreat, like where my heart just totally opened to the universe and it was there for a few hours, but interestingly enough, something quite major happened in the family with my daughter that was really challenging. And so there was a big opening happening at the same time my shin froze because it was just such a big thing I had to, to sort out in Wellington with her. So it was this, this interesting dance going on. We can't be totally responsible for everything, like our, our children's lives, our parents' lives, they have their own law of life, but we can influence things as best we can. And instead of worrying, the sense of that, that the universe is holding us and for whatever reason, certain experiences help us in this lifetime to understand what we may come here to understand and we may be brought together with certain people in our, in, our, in our family. We may have known them before and we're brought together to learn again. It's a sense of, I guess, that there is a greater plan, but at the same time we can be co-creators, especially when we work on life and change patterns and become more aware of how we are creating some of these experiences, how, you know, with those seeds of the consciousness we come in with, it's like really seeing our responsibility of how we've created some of those experiences and knowing we can change it. 